You said you remembered everything about the first time you were abused. You remember the attack, you remember your family getting involved, you remember calling the police. You said it was the worst night of your life till it happened the next time, and then it happened the next time. I, in, in just reading it and now saying it again, had an emotional reaction to it, just because I got girls. And like, to me, like we all like fucked up in some way. I think that's a different type of fucked up. And so to be able to share your experiences in that, what gave you the strength to say, you know what, this is something I've been through, this is something other people have gone through, and I believe in some way sharing my story, sharing my energy, giving my time can help someone else the way I wanted someone to help me. The Ray Rice situation made me want to talk about it because I had never shared anything publicly. Even some of my family didn't know what had happened to me. And I didn't even initially say it. It wasn't until about the second or third round of the story where people started to turn on her and make the story about her. Was she going to stay? Was it about money? What did she say to him that made him do it? And I was just hearing the all of the reasons why it was okay what he did started, you know, started to snowball. Even though we had this very horrific video clearly showing what happened. And when I was in that particular situation, uh, a friend of mine took me to uh, Women in Distress, which is a uh, a women's shelter in South Florida. They have a luncheon every year at, um, I can't remember the name of that place. Every luncheon in South Florida is at this place. <laughs> You've been there a million times. So we went to the luncheon and I was listening to these horrific stories. I mean, women being kidnapped and chained to poles and just ho horrible, horrible stories. And they're just up there talking about what happened to them. And they started using words that I hadn't heard before, like gaslighting and narcissist and just explaining all of the things that were happening to me that I didn't know how to explain other than I'm just being abused. And so when the Ray Rice thing happened, I was on air in South Florida. I was doing my radio show and I just kind of felt like if there's a, ever a time to talk about it, this is the time. And I actually think it will be helpful because what I learned through those conversations and I gave people a lot of grace because we really, I don't feel, have had had that conversation so publicly with the evidence so glaring and jarring to where everyone was like, this is wrong. So we had a moment to really introduce the conversation to people where it really wasn't that divisive of a topic. Like everyone knew where to stand on it. What I realized is a lot of people think that that is something that happens to a specific type of woman that this happens to people who don't have resources, or this happens to somebody who's married to someone who has a, a, a addiction issues or something. And what I realized through talking about it is, people just don't know this happens all the time to everyone. It is not, doesn't have anything to do with how much money you make or how famous you are or how beautiful you are, or what your family is like, or if you have brothers or any of these things, it does not preclude you from this experience. So it gave me a lot of, reassurance that I was doing the right thing, but also the response and talking about it more and the amount of people that have, you know, responded to me talking about it and just the education of it and giving people a space where they don't feel like it's only happening to them really made it, made it worth it.